Welcome back to lesson 22.2 of solving equations by completing the square um, by completing the square. So in your packet they go over several examples. I'll be going over the ones that you need to try out. Um, please pause if you need to as we continue to do some of these problems. So on here you see it says to complete the square for um, the expression um, and then factor the trinomial. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing they ask you to do is find half, one half of b. So this is our b value, okay, 18. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, find what half of 18 is, which is 9. We're going to then take that 9 and we're going to square it. So if you have to in your calculator, go ahead and figure out what 9 squared is. Pause and that would be about 81 and then it says add the result b squared or b divided by 2 squared to step 1 so we found that to be 81 so what we're going to do is we're going to add it just like it shows here that 81 that we found here and they're going to ask us to factor and they say factor the following expression so remember when we divided b divided by 2 that's that, that was at 18 divided by 2 we found that to be 9, so that means x squared plus 18x um, would be, so we're going to just copy this down, 81. And the way we could find that is x plus 9 squared, because 9 times 9, you'll notice that is 81, and 9 plus 9 is 18. See, see that pattern there? They add to get me 18, and they multiply to get me 81. All right, it says complete the square for each expression and then factor the trinomial. So we're going to continue that on on the next problem. So here it says again, x squared minus 22x. So again, this is my b value. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that in half, and that would be negative 11. And what I could do is then take that and square it. And what would negative 11 times negative 11 be? Go ahead and take the time to work that out. You would have found that to be 121. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite our problem. x squared minus 22x. We found this to be the completion of that square. So we're going to add that on. And it says 2 factor. So that would be, well think about it what two numbers, what two variables multiply to get you x times, or x to the second power? So what two variables multiply to get you x to the second power? x times x, right? And then what two numbers multiply to get you 121? 11 and 11, but add to get you negative 22. Well, negative 11 and negative 11 which I can then write as x minus 11 squared. So rather than writing it out, you know, twice, like twins, right? We can actually write that um, as that binomial squared. So it's a little easier. Let's try the next one. So on here, it's asking us now to solve. So not just completing the square, but actually using it to solve. So the first thing they want us to do is they say rewrite the equation in the form of x squared plus bx equals c. So the first thing I see here, um, that I have a 3. You know, I have a 3 um, instead of just a 1. So I need to get rid of that 3. So let's see how I can do that. Well, 3x squared plus 24x plus 36. What I could do is actually I could divide that 3 to every term that I see here. So what I could do is factor everything out, that 3, and that would be 3 divided by 3 is 1x squared. 3 goes into 24, 8x, and 3 goes into 36 about 12 times. 3 goes into 0 about 0 times. Now as you can see, okay, now I have my x squared, but I don't have that other side to be that c value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that 12 to the other side. What's the opposite of a positive 12? 
negative 12. So that would be x squared plus 8x equals negative 12. And then what they're going to ask us to do is to find the perfect square. So here my b value is 8. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and square So I'm going to go ahead and square. Sorry about that technical difficulty. Well, what is um, 8 divided by 2? 4. And if I square that, that would be 16. So I'm left with x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals negative 12 and I have to add it to both sides so that would be 4 now I can um, write down my expression which I will um, I can actually rewrite it like it says factor the expression obtained into this format so that would be x um, All right, so what two numbers multiply to get you 16, but add to get you 8? Well, that was 4 and 4, right? And positive, right? 4 times 4 is 16. 4 plus 4 is 8. So I can rewrite this as x plus 4 squared equals 4. So just like in the last section, we'll go ahead and square root both sides. And I get x plus 4 equals either a positive 2 or a negative 2. And what's the opposite of adding 4? Subtracting 4, right? So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm left with x equals either negative 2 or negative 6. Continuing right along here, you will see it says rewrite the equation in this format. So as I can see, oh, at least I have a 1. I don't have to worry about that, right? Um, so let's go ahead and move some terms over. So we'll move this negative 7, which is, what's the opposite of a negative 7? Positive 7, right? So that'd be x squared minus 4x equals positive 7. We're going to find our b value, right? Which would be negative 4. So if I divide negative 4 divided by 2, that would be negative 2. And if I square that, that would be a 4. All right, so I'm going to rewrite my problem. x squared minus 4x plus, that 4 we found, equals 7 plus that 4 we found. All right, so that would be a 11. And that would be x squared minus 4x plus 4. So again, I'll go ahead and factor. Okay. So um, x times x gets me x squared. Now, what two numbers multiply to get you 4, but add or combine to get you negative 4? Negative 2 and negative 2, right? So that would be x minus 2 squared equals 11. We'll go ahead and square root both sides. And we'll have x minus 2 equals positive square root 11 and, or negative square root 11. And what is the opposite of subtracting 7? Adding 7, right? So we're going to add 7. Ooh, that does not look like a 7 to, to me. All right. Sorry, 2. That should be a 2, guys. I'm sorry about that. That should be a 2. Because that's a 2, clearly, right? <laughs> so that cancels out. And I have x um, either square root 11 plus 2 or negative square root 11 plus 2. Now, I can in my calculator go ahead and figure out what the square root of 11 is. Pause right here and figure out what that would be. I found that to be about 3.2. 31 and negative 3.31 
and if I work out each one of these that would be 5.31 or negative yes and pause right here because you know you should calculate things out negative 1.31 okay let's continue on oh we're at the checkpoint we're almost there guys all right so here it says solve by um, completing the square so you'll notice here that um, my leading term is not one so we're going to divide every term by two see what happens what would that be 1x squared that would be negative 4x and that would be 5 so we're going to figure out what our b value is and we're going to divide it by 2 and square it our b value is negative 4 all right what is half of negative 4 negative 2 we're going to square that and that would be 4 we are then going to add that 4 not only on this side but we're going to also add that 4 on this side as well so if I work this out that would be about 9 x squared minus 4 x plus 2 so again if I factor this out sorry 4 that would be x times x gets me x squared and 2 times 2 oh but should that be a positive or a negative because 2 times 2 is 4 but does 2 plus 2 get me a negative 4? No, I have to make that a negative 2. Because negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, and negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. So that would be x minus 2 squared equals 9. We'll go ahead and square root both sides. That would be x minus 2 equals a positive 3 or a negative 3. And what's the opposite of a um, negative 2? positive 2 so that would be x equals either 5 or negative 1 let's continue right along oh there's the homework we are done um, make sure you're doing 1 through 8 in your textbook and then on a separate sheet of paper also make sure you're doing these six problems from um, that are listed here okay if you do need help go ahead and ask a uh, tutor, teacher, any of our staff members. Uh, hopefully these were helpful and uh, see you on the next video.